Hi, this is Manos Brilakis, and it is my great pleasure to announce the launch of the PCI app, an app that was designed to help with how to perform coronary angiography and percutaneous coronary intervention. The app was developed through the support of the Joe and Mary Fly Sucker Foundation and the Minneapolis Heart Institute Foundation by Ken Crutch. It is available for free, both for Apple devices as well as Android devices. This is how it looks on the App Store. The proximity to the public crime investigation is purely coincidental. And this is how it looks at Google Play. This is the main screen once the app is launched. And that describes the different sections of the app. There are six different sections. The first one describes the 14 steps of PCI. The second one, various complex subgroups. The third one, complications of PCI. The fourth one, equipment. The fifth one allows searching for various cases that are posted on YouTube. And the sixth one allows searching for various podcasts. This is how it looks after it launches. It may take a little longer initially once it is originally loaded. And this is the base screen as we discussed before. Let's say that we want to go to the first part, the various steps. These are the 14 steps of percutaneous coronary intervention. If we want to, for example, look at how to do access, we do have um, how to choose access site, how to do femoral access. There are various videos that describe the different parts of the procedure of the portion of getting access. And then uh, if we move uh, back to the PCI app, then there is the part B, which are the complex subgroups. 10 different sections for various complex subgroups. This is an example of the osteo lesions, different types of osteo lesions. This section describes how to approach your osteo lesions, the risk of dampening. And also there are videos again for various parts. For example, this video describes the independent heart technique. Moving back to the third segment, now we're at the complications. There are five different sections from acute vessel closure to vascular access complications. If we look, for example, at um, various complications such as perforation, there's a definition and images of the various types of perforations. And then for treatment, the algorithm for treating perforations. And then step-by-step -step instructions about how to approach, for example, large vessel perforation with a graphic showing the various steps of the procedure. Moving on to Part D, which is about equipment. There are 22 types of equipment that are described in each of the 22 sections. For example, if we want to look at various microcatheters, this is uh, Section 6. Then we can scroll and do the various steps of microcatheters. There are images of each microcatheter and a description of how to use the microcatheter. There is then the option of uh, watching a case. There are more than 300 cases now posted, and one can actually search for those cases by typing a various keyword. This is an example where we're going to look for perforation, and then by typing perforation into the search function, then we're going to get a list of cases where perforations have been encountered and have been managed. And then the sixth part is about podcasts. There are currently 16 podcasts with plans to further expand them in the future that can be searched for and watched. We do hope that the PCI app can be useful for planning, performing a troubleshooting percutaneous coronary intervention. We do look forward to your feedback. Please um, send us your feedback either to my email, esprilakis.gmail.com or through the app that has a feedback segment as well. Thank you.